How are we doing you beautiful people, Kanzi here, bringing you episode 14 of Rise of the Holy Nation Iron Man playthrough. In the last episode, just by chance, we found that Bad Teeth was under siege by the Shek. They have completely overrun the town and we have Peter and Gnu trying to bring some order in. I want to bring the rest of the adventurous squad across, but at the moment, if we send them in, they are just going to get hacked apart by the Shek. Once they come in, they're going to be really good at keeping the Shek down and stopping the Shek from getting up. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight against this many Shek, our guys would just get ruined. So we're going to hold them back so they're going to be fresh. And when we think we can go for the final push, we're going to bring the rest of the adventurous squad in and we'll be able to keep down the Shek assault. The plan to break the siege is fairly simple. We've got Gnu on the lowlands trying to stop any more Shek reinforcements coming through this area. The other side is this area. This is where most of the Holy Nation patrols will come from. So if we can have Gnu try to keep the lowlands clear, when the patrols come through, which hopefully they will, they'll be able to come straight in through the bottom of the town and act like a relief force. In the meantime, we got Peter running around trying to take out as many Shek within the town as he can. He is going to be doing a little bit of first aid. I think it might be risky, but just trying to keep as many of the Holy Nation in the fight as we can is going to be amazing. Because after this, the town still needs to hold, and if all the Holy Nation are dead in it, anything is going to be able to come in and just ruin them. We need to keep an eye out for the Inquisitor, because if the Inquisitor survives this, then Bad Teeth will not fall. But if the Inquisitor goes down, then there is the end of Bad Teeth. And if I am not mistaken, which I probably am, if Bad Teeth falls, it will go to the Shek, which means we're going to have the Shek right on our doorstep. It will be good target practice for us, but it's not what we want. We want to keep the Holy Lands pure and clean from the narco filth and impurities. So we got to make sure that Bad Teeth does not fall to the narcos. Otherwise, we will be in a little bit of trouble, not a massive amount, but we do not want that. So we're going to do everything we can to make sure Bad Teeth survives. we got to keep an eye out for that Inquisitor, for he is the most important thing that we can see. We also had a bunch of the Holy Nation have now got up and are starting to secure the bottom gate. With this, we are going to move Gnu in and see if he can start to liberate the town a bit. We have Peter doing what he can. He's doing pretty well, but occasionally he does get overrun and the Shek numbers don't seem to be dropping that much. They are going down, but there is just so many of them that this is one serious fight, and it looks like another patrol might have just come in, which isn't good. So if we can go out, take the top gate, heal up, go back in, and cause as much damage as we can. We've got Gnu coming from the bottom, we'll have Peter coming from the top, and hopefully this will buy enough time for what we have got to hope is a Holy Nation patrol coming through or a relief force to try and secure Bad Teeth. Otherwise, this town will most likely fall. Peter and Gnu are good, but they are not that good to be able to defend against this many Shek because the Shek are in so many places, we cannot be there and take them down. And the honeymoon period for Peter in this fight is running out. He is getting pretty beaten up, which means his stats are dropping. And as his stats drop, he's not going to be able to fight as well. And as he's not going to be able to fight as well, he's going to take more and more damage until he finally gets knocked out. Gnu is still pretty fresh for the fight, so he has a little bit of damage, but she hasn't taken too much. What we will try to do is we'll get Peter to heal up a little bit. And then we'll get back in and try to take as many Shek out as we can. As you can see... Their numbers are still crazy high. Gnu is surrounded at the moment, but thankfully Gnu has a pole arm, so it's got a pretty quick attack speed and it has a decent arc. So against these big, slow, heavy weapons that the Shek are using, Gnu is going to be super dangerous. Doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but is doing enough to cause the Shek a bad time. We can see a couple more Holy Nation are up. And as the Holy Nation numbers increase and they get up, they're going to be able to keep the Shek down that we have knocked down. The other side is that they're going to go around and start taking the weapons off the down Shek pretty soon. And once those weapons get taken off the Shek, once they get back up, it is not going to be such a issue. We do have what looks like the Surgeon Skill coming in, which is going to be a big, big problem for us for two reasons. Firstly, Surgeon Skill are fairly good. And secondly, the Surgeon Skill like healing the Shek, which is going to cause us a bit of a problem if all of the Shek we've taken down and all of the medikits we've taken off everyone start getting not put back on but getting healed up and that is going to cause us some serious problems we are finding some nice weapons so we are either going to be able to sell these or give them to our guys i'm not a massive fan of these huge cleavers they are super difficult to use the planks are good but they lose out to katanas very very quickly so against the united cities we will need to find a different weapon sort 
but against the Shack, fighting heavy weapons with heavy weapons isn't the worst thing we could do. If I had some common sense, we would be changing across to pole arms because pole arms are very good against heavy weapons and offer decent armor penetration at the same time. But we have what looks like four Holy Nation up at the moment, which isn't amazing, but it's definitely decent. And we have stripped a whole bunch of Shack of their weapons and even more of their medikits. So I think we are looking like we're in a good situation right now. So we're going around stripping the Shek of their medikits and their weapons and then we look to the top of the town by the temple and there is a whole massive group of 100 guardians. Considering there's only meant to be 100, hence the 100 guardians, there is a lot of them committed to this fight. I know that's not going to carry across, but details, they are pretty tough. They got decent weapons, decent armor and very respectable stats. They're not going to give us too much of an issue. They are going to be slightly annoying, but we should be able to deal with them soon. Unfortunately, there are these pockets of Shek around that even now it will be too soon to bring our adventurous squad over. First chance I get, I do want them over because that is going to make making the town safe a lot easier. But right now, it would be a waste of our characters. I don't think any of them would die because Peter and Gnu have the ability to move around and to heal up. But yeah, they'll just go in and they'll get knocked down and not get much experience and not much training from this fight. But if we leave it to a little bit later when there's less Shek and they're weaker, they are going to be able to get a lot more out of this than if we run them in now and they will get knocked out. The Shek numbers still are not thinning. Every place we go, there just seems to be more and more and more of them. So what we've done is we have hired a mercenary group to join us. I'm not expecting them to do much, but if they can tie up a few Shek, ideally stop any more Shek getting up, because Peter and Gnu are doing well, but they cannot be everywhere at the same time. And still, even now, if we send our adventurous group over, it is going to cause us some issues. They're going to go down before they can really do too much. We've gone around a bunch of the shops because we want to start selling off these Shek weapons. But the shopkeepers have pretty much all been knocked out. So we've gone around and we've healed them up the best that we can. But they are not in a situation to be able to trade with us. So we are stuck with the Shek weapons that we've got at the moment. So we are not going to be able to loot too many more off the Shek. We can put them into our infantry and then drop them. But at the moment, I think just sticking with this and trying to get it done is going to be our best bet. Because we have been here for a long time now trying to clear out these Shek. They don't seem to be going anywhere. And more and more of them keep streaming into this town. I swear they're getting reinforcements. Also, the Guild of Surgeons has started to arrive as well from the group earlier. <laughs> so all of those holy nations that were up are now down. But you can see a few of the Shek we have, who we have taken the weapons off now don't. But we are prioritising on taking medkits. Because if the Shek can't heal, the Shek can't get back up and they can't fight. Both Peter and Gnu have gone down. Which means they're taking a bit of a kick in. So we're going to go around, do what we can. We're probably going to have to pull back, regroup, and then come back in. But we're going to go check in on the Holy Nations barracks, see if there's anyone up. But yeah, they they got ruined in here. I'm surprised they've done so poorly, seeing as it's a confined space. I thought the Shek's heavy weapons wouldn't be as good. What we're going to do is we'll heal we'll a few of them up, see what we can do for them. But a bunch of them are already dead. And then we need to regroup and then come back in, because at the moment... We are definitely fighting a losing battle, but I reckon if we come in fresh, we should be able to cause a serious amount of damage, and hopefully we can find the Inquisitor in this mess of bodies. Because if we find him, we can heal him, but if he's dead, we know that Bad Teeth is a lost cause, and we can just retreat now and surrender it to the Shack, and then come back in. I thought that might be in the Inquisitor, but it's not. There are a couple other guys around that need healing, but we'll do this and then I'll be right back with you. We have checked the whole building and the Inquisitor is not in here. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but at least at the moment, we do not know that he's dead. But then again, we do not know that he's alive. So we're going to need to carry on fighting and we need to secure Bad Teeth. Gnu is down as well. So I think pulling back is going to be our best bet. But it seems the Shek have sorted a welcome party for us and they are not going to let us get out of this. There is a bunch of them. They're also going on to sail back Poacher, which is good. But we are super encumbered at the moment and our legs are somewhat mashed up. So running away and retreating is not the best option that we can get. We're going to need to try to fight our way to the top of the town. Once we're at the top of the town, hopefully then we can get out. 
Every time we have tried to push up to the gate, more shack keep coming in and knocking us down. So the plan is, is to try to fight the shack indoors. Thin their numbers, and then once they start aggroing in, the ones that aggro onto us, we take down. And with that, we try to have a break in the shack and we get out. Get back to the base or to one of the taverns, heal ourselves up and then get back in. Even now, far too many shack for us to be fighting with the adventurer squad. Gnu and Peter, they're super tanky so they can stay in the fight for a while. The lowlands seem fairly clear, the shack have aggroed somewhere else. And we are going to keep moving on. If we see better planks, we're going to swap them across. And hopefully we can get some slightly better equipment out of this. And we've just upgraded our plank and we've had that pretty much since the start. So we finally got an upgrade on Peter. Okay, so this is looking good. There aren't too many Shek. We've got a Holy Nation up with us as well. We do have a Guild of Surgeons, but that is not a massive issue. We've got two more Shek just come out of the shop, which we're going to be able to deal with pretty happy. We also have Gnu has just come out to help Peter as well. So we're going to have Gnu and Peter together. And between the two of them, we should be able to punch through and get out of the town. But that was a whole big bunch of Shek just come out of the armory right then. Uh, we were not expecting that. We should have tried to just run, I reckon. We should have been able to tank most of those hits and get out. Now we won't be able to. But if we can just start mashing up the Shek as we have been doing and knocking them down, we will be in a better position. Gnu and Peter don't stay down for long and they get back up pretty quick. And normally when they get back up, they can take one or two Shek with them. The Mercenaries Guild, yeah, they did not do super great. They were okay. Some of their ranges were quite nice because the Shek, a lot of them aren't wearing armor. So if they were hitting where there wasn't armor, they were doing pretty good. But most of the time they're just running in and then just getting cleaved apart by the Shek. But this is even more 100 Guardians now. And yeah, they're, I'm not sure what's happening to the Shek numbers. It's almost like they're not going down. I think what's possibly happening is the raids that should be coming against our base, our fortress monastery, I think that they are heading to Bad Teeth at the moment instead. So they're just getting reinforced and reinforced and reinforced. The Holy Nation definitely should have had some patrols come through, so I'm not sure if there's something happening there. But not the worst situation we've been in, definitely not but definitely not the greatest. We managed to get Gnu to aggro a whole bunch of Shek onto her. So she's going to buy Peter some time so Peter can get out the front gate. As soon as he's out the front gate, if he gets knocked down, that's not an issue because once he regains consciousness, we can run him back to the base ASAP. Gnu is holding the line pretty well. She will go down, but then she will just get back up. That is, that's kind of what juggernauts do. They are very difficult to keep down, super tough, and Gnu is doing surprisingly well against the amount of them. We did rest Gnu up, which I should point out. So Gnu got into one of the taverns, was able to heal herself up, and then we were able to go back down and then fight the Shek. The problem was, is the Shek all started piling into the building and then started trying to attack her while she was asleep. So I don't think that is going to work for Peter, hence why we're sending back to the base. We are bringing the Adventurer's Guild in, and we have now found the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is the most important part of this town if he dies then bad teeth will fall if we can keep him alive we should be pretty good and hopefully the adventurer squad will arrive in a decent time the adventurer squad has arrived but it looks like they have brought a friend with them one of the united cities elite hunters has tracked them to bad teeth not doing too well against us just because we are filling all those attack slots and this is going to be a nice free armor delivery system so that is a bunch of edge walker twos which is always super nice and at least high grade samurai armor this is going to be very useful on one of our characters we have healed the inquisitor up so we don't need to worry about that the bone dogs are getting involved as well which is always nice to see and then we are just going to swap some kit around so yep that is a high grade which is always a super nice thing to have if I can click the buttons properly, trade across the armor, trade across the helmet, which is specialist. Very nice, thank you very much. And then and we are going to take those edge walkers and the rest of their kit. So we now have one character that is even more powerful than when they started. And it is with that, we tried to make bad teeth safe. Will we be able to? Uh, it's debatable, 
but we might as well give it a go. I'm not too worried about any of our guys dying because the Shek weapons don't have particularly good blunt damage and so long as I can keep someone up to heal we will be pretty well off. We do have Bounty Outlaws coming in. These guys have decent stats, nothing great, but they do have some nice weapons. And those weapons we will take because we can start chucking them onto our other colonists that don't have much. And they have health kits as well. And we are continuously hurting for health kits. We are not doing super great on that front. I do think one of them has a crossbow. And what we need to do is we need to get one of these crossbows because Kinsey needs one. And the Adventurers Guild is now in bad teeth. The Katanas are proven to be quite a good weapon against the Shek, so long as they don't get outnumbered. Once our guys get outnumbered, they run into a lot of issues very quickly. We already have a couple people down. Luna never even made it. She got ambushed on the way, so we're getting her sorted. And then my other guys are doing okay, but these 100 Guardians are super, super dangerous. Against our Juggernauts, not as much. Peter and Gnu are very, very powerful indeed with really good stats and good equipment and decent optimization. Whereas our other guys going in, they have a whole bunch of penalties on their armor because they are laborers and fighters and their kit's not very good. Hopefully when we can start producing our own stuff, we will be able to sort this so our guys will be better at fighting. Our bone dogs are getting involved, but unfortunately bone dogs can't block and they're only teens at the moment. So them being teens they don't have much in the way of hit points and where they can't block and they can't dodge basically any attack going through will take them down but the Shek seem to finally be thinning and the more Holy Nation get up the more weapons they take off them and the more kit they strip the better we're going to be but yet there is still more running through that top gate it's a never ending Shek story at the moment it would seem Another lot of Shek just came through that top gate and they took down pretty much all of the Holy Nation that was still up. There might be one or two still around that I can't see, but they knocked the Holy Nation back quite a bit. Our adventurous squad is doing what they can, but they keep getting knocked down. Gnu is taking a beating and Peter is down. And now back into the fight. What we're going to do is we're going to try to keep Peter and Gnu together. So at least this way they shouldn't get overrun if they get separated. And they should be able to create like a kind of a small perimeter. And what we'll do is we will look for the Holy Nation. So we have found the Inquisitor. So we've got to keep him alive. So yep, we've got an iron him. He's gone down. So we'll heal him back up. He is pretty beaten up. But if we can keep Gnu and Peter together, we can bring both of their damages together at the same time. So they're going to be able to shred through the Shrek super soon prevent them getting overrun but we need to keep enough distance between them so if the cleaves go off it doesn't tag both of them we have just healed up the inquisitor so priority one is taken care of priority two is we want to secure that top gate at the moment i thought the bottom gate might be the most important one but at the moment what it looks like is most of the shek are coming through the top so if we can cut that off we can cut their reinforcements and then we can start clearing the town we have a couple of the adventurous squad back up they are not doing a massive amount, but they are healing themselves up, which I guess is a good start. And generally, they are knocking Shaq down that are coming up. But once a fight kicks off and they try to get involved, they are not doing so hot. I am hoping it is safe to say this time, we seem to be beating the Shaq. We seem to have more numbers than them for once. We have more Holy Nation up than we have had in a while. The Adventurer Squad is involved as well. They're not doing a massive amount, but they are helping. We got Sail backs in as well. That seems to be fighting the Shack. And if memory serves me right, in the bar at the top of the town, there is a second squad of mercenaries. What I think we should do is we should go and hire them. And that means if another Shack patrol comes through or a bunch of Shack reinforcements, we will have superior numbers to them and in that time the holy nation can start stripping down the shek that are in the town start healing themselves up so hopefully we will be able to pull out the town fairly soon and we won't need to babysit them too much longer we have just found the second mercenary group we're going to get them they're going to join us and then we should be in a really good situation to fend off the shek turns out they weren't in the top of the town they were in the bar in the middle but hopefully what we can do is we're going to set our guys to heal. So they should be able to go around and heal up all of the Holy Nation that are around. Because we want them to keep their numbers up. Thankfully we don't have dismemberment on so they won't lose their limbs. And most of them haven't bled out because of the Shek weapons being primarily blunt with only a little bit of bleed and cut damage. This means that the Holy Nation, a lot of them should survive. And those that survive are going to be stronger than they were before this attack. 
so they're going to be in a better situation to hold out. Our Mercenary Guild is finally getting involved. They do have a bunch of crossbow users in their ranks, and these crossbow guys seem to be quite effective against a Shack. Until the Shack closes the distance, then they die, but that's details. They're cheap and expendable, and that is what we are going to use them for. And basically, we just wanted a mass medic squad so we could get around and heal as many people as quickly as possible. And right now, we're just going to go around, pick off the last of the shack, loot what we can, and make safe the town. That was a fairly quick cleanup exercise, and the town is pretty much secure right now. But we got a little bit of time to burn, so we're just going to go and see if we can find any more recruits. We do have one here who we are going to take on. I'm not sure what we're going to name them. I reckon we're just going to call him timmy because he kind of looks like a timmy with that hair we're going to randomize it up because he looks a little bit try hard at the moment not that this guy doesn't look too try hard but i think that will work oh how the tables have now turned on the shack what's this like seven people well nearly seven and a bunch of dogs going in so this shack is done any other shack that get up are just getting ganged up on so we are keeping the Shek numbers down really, really well at the moment. The Holy Nation is going around and stripping them of their weapons, mainly. And they're also starting to heal themselves up and rest up. So the Holy Nation is soon to be in a situation where they can defend themselves. We are going to have to send Peter over the stack to try and get rid of some of these weapons. So we can come back and loot a bunch more kit. And it seems the Shek are going to be sending a assault against us. So the Holy Nation have finally decided to come to our aid and have sent us a bunch of reinforcements. We are going to need to pull everyone then back out of Bad Teeth to the base so we can heal up and figure out some sort of defence. Because at the moment those Shek would run straight through us. I'm pretty sure Bad Teeth is in a situation where it can hold. They do have a lot of Holy Nation up. Most of the Shek are disarmed. We've gone around and taken almost all of the medikits. So we've got plenty of medical supplies. The Shek have virtually none. And now the Shek are coming to send a big attack at our base and we will be ready and we're going to crush it and we've got the Holy Nation support and then from there we just got to get some we just got to get some armor weapon production and some more infrastructure and then we are going to be sweet to attack the Shek. We have the Shek attack only a couple hours away from our base at the moment so I think it is here it's going to be a good place to call the episode so thank you very much for watching episode 14 of Rise of the Holy Nation. I've been Gonzi. all your likes, comments, sub support have been amazing. You guys are awesome and I'll catch you on the next one.